Hi there, I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano of Master Brokers. Welcome to our video update for the Melpitas area and market. This is September 14th. Uh, nice that you tuned in. Um, look at um, MLS. We have a very low pending sales, 20 pending sales. We've been fluctuating around 32 to 20 for the past few months. What that shows is an extreme um, low inventory. Um, it's typical for this time of year, but um, it's pretty low right now. So hopefully things are going to pick up. We're looking forward to a big uh, 2018 as more sellers realize that they have a lot of profit and equity in their properties and are willing to now uh, vacate and, and leave, leave out of the area and relocate. So um, we do have four new listings, uh, 1511 Hidden Creek Lane. It's a brand new home, uh, three bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,400 square feet, small lot which are the newer homes also always have small lots. That's for $1,155,238. Then 1536 Sonoma Drive, right in the heart of Parktown. Um, Senate Elementary School, great school. Uh, four bedroom, two bath, 1737 square feet for $1,050,000. Um, look for a penny price. That's probably gonna go 100, 150,000 minimum over that price. Uh, 1233 Platt Avenue. Uh, six bedroom, three bath, large home, 2,300 square feet for 949,950. That's an excellent bargain. Again, that will probably go well, well over the price. And 418 South Temple Drive, uh, older section of town, uh, four bedroom, three bath, 1,462 square feet, kind of a starter home for 849,000 because as we look at the Santa Clara uh, County statistics, the average price in August of 2017 in Milpitas for a single family home was $1,099,819. That's the highest we've seen yet. And medium price was $1,008,000. Get my numbers right. Um, and I'll contrast that to a year ago in August 2016. The average price was $974,838. So we've seen um, about a hundred grand bump. Uh, and that's that's definitely true. And medium price is 880,000. So current interest rates. Um, last week we reported that the interest rates had ticked downward a little bit. Uh, the stock market has actually done well uh, this week, and interest rates are at 4% for 30-year fixed conforming, three and a quarter, 15-year fixed conforming, 4.125 for 30-year fixed jumbo, and 3.5% for 15-year fixed jumbo. So certainly the interest rates are not holding any buyers back from buying property. Again, last week I had 12 offers on my property on Crater Lake Avenue, so uh, there's no shortage of buyers in this market. Uh, Chicago Title, um, one of the title companies that I use, reports in what is a living trust. We hear that name uh, thrown out a, a lot, and it's defined as creating, created during the lifetime of the settlers as opposed to being created by their wills after death and it usually terminates after they die and the body of the trust is distributed to their beneficiaries and this is a definitely a great way to avoid um, capital gains tax or uh, inheritance taxes which are left behind in probate uh, with a will so uh, get with a you know, if you're interested in a living trust I recommend that you use a reputable trust attorney one that's been um, long time uh, in the industry I do have one if you want to get that one from me and I'd recommend that okay why do buyers make a contingency free offer on a property uh, it was in the San Jose Mercury news recently you know um, a lot of the buyers are competing against each other so much so in order to make sure that their offer uh, gets looked at or potentially accepted by the seller uh, buyers make a contingent free offer and what is that that is the ability the buyer um, locks out their ability to back out of the transaction based on any contingencies like a loan contingency an appraisal contingency or a property investigation contingency most of the sellers already do inspections on their home so all the knowledge is well known when a buyer makes the offer on the house on what the condition of the house is and most buyers are pre-approved the the lenders have looked at credit um, employment verification asset verification so they already know that they do have a loan so it's not a high risk for the buyer to do that um, and it makes the seller feel more comfortable that the buyer will perform um, and the buyers are more apt to cancel if there is a contingency 
particularly if they sleep on other issues, um, they don't like the home or the neighborhood eventually, and they want to back out for any reason, they can do that with a contingency. So it really is um, a great benefit to the seller. Uh, closing time, how to be prepared at the table uh, in the San Jose Mercury News. Um, you would need documents for closing like the driver's license or picture ID to get notarized. A cashier's check or good funds or a bank wire will work. Um, the lender may require W-2 forms, pay stubs, recent bank, bank statements, or proof of additional income. So be prepared to get that through the pipeline as you go through the process. Um, be prepared to explain any major debits or credit inquiries and financial charges. Um, and then work with a reputable lender. That's very important, particularly that you have a lender that says you're pre-approved for the loan. You want to make sure that they deliver on that promise. All right, um, updates, City of Milpitas. Well, a couple weeks ago, we had a groundbreaking ceremony for actually a really good, I knew Mabel Mattis in the community for many, many years. She's a great personal friend of mine and a family. And the new elementary school that's dedicated to her and in her honor, Mabel Mattis Elementary. Um, the groundbreaking was on August 24th and the school will be located at the McCandless uh, Boulevard area. And look for future updates. The school is scheduled to be opened in August of 2018. And I uh, heard an interesting statistic. We have not had a new elementary school in Milpitas since 19, the 1970s, I believe, 1976. Don't quote me on that, but there uh, was a remarkable number. So it's been many, many years that we've have built a new school for our, our bulging population. Um, emergency preparedness fair this coming Saturday, September 16th from 10, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Civic Center Plaza located right behind City Hall. They'll have a community outreach with lots of staff, uh, lots of fun thing for the kids to do, and a very educationally family-focused event. So if you want to attend that, I'd recommend that highly. And again, um, any updates to the city of Milpitas, go to their website at www.ci.milpitas.ca.gov. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.